February 23rd and 24th. The sun is in Pisces and the moon is in Sag. It's a square. They're both mutable. Sun in Pisces says, I don't want to talk. I just want to be alone. Moon in Sag, I want to have a party. I want to get outside. I want to have fun. Pisces goes, leave me alone. That's a square. The moon is the only planet in fire. Now here's the deal about this. It's Steve Jobs' birthday on the 24th. The thing about Pisces, let's start there, is their dream quality of being able to create. Think about, he realized that computers were going to take over this reality and completely change. Right now, you're sitting in front of his dream. Someone had the concept. I love to think about I remember when I got my first computer. It was given to me as a gift, and it was this big apple, like one of those oversized things. And I was so excited to have it because why? You could push a button and make a chart come out. It changed the whole nature of astrology. It's changed the whole nature of our reality. Now, here's the dilemma with Pisces and Sag. Pisces is a dreamer, and at worst, they're escape artist. They don't like this reality, and Sag says, really? Let's have a little drink. Let's have a little more. Let's have a little party. And Pisces goes, yeah, let's just skip. That's like going and playing hooky. In these Wednesday, Thursday, if you're feeling like you want to escape, that's the energy. If a baby were born, they'd come in with creativity and the dream. Think Steve Jobs. But they'd have this escape route. The Sagittarius, it says, I'm squaring the moon, said the sun to the moon. Blah. And I don't want to do what you're telling me to do. I want to get outside. And Pisces goes, no, no, no. I want to dream. So when that conflict, you go to DebraSilvermanAstrology.com and you say, I feel like a part of me is an escape artist. I've overindulged. Maybe it's an addiction. Let's talk about that because that's Pisces Sag. And I don't know who to tell it to. And I don't even know why I'm escaping. Can someone help me? That's the beginning of the answer. And welcome to the cyberspace reality where you and I are friends live time right here in February 2022. Thank you, Steve Jobs. We may not have liked his personality. Back to the results. Boy, did he change our reality. You're looking in a computer right now in cyberspace and you think you know me. Isn't that weird? Astrology answers wanted me to tell you, Pisces, me, 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 coming soon to your neighborhood. For so many years, it used to hurt my feelings that I felt different or separate. And then I realized it was a gift in disguise. It meant that I had a uniqueness and I didn't have to follow what others did. This is what astrology is all about. It's about promoting individuality, celebrating diversity, and letting you be quote unquote weird. It's not a bad word. It just means that you're unique. Let's change it. So I created Tell Me a Story. It's an intimate writing class. I'm your teacher. And it allows you to change those judgments or those misinterpretations of your character so you feel better about you. It's like magic to watch people fall in love with themselves right in front of me. Click the link in the description to find out more.